So Razer Basilisk V3, how to connect it to your computer, how to set up pretty much uh, about this mouse. So uh, this mouse works with Razer Synapse 3.0. Uh, what you need to do is to go on Google and search for download Razer Synapse 3.0 and install that program. After that you just uh, connect the, the mouse to your computer and it might ask for an update or not. Uh, after the update is done you will see the, the mouse in this list of uh, devices. In this case as you can see I has have the Razer Basilisk V3, the old Razer Naga Hex V2 and the uh, Razer Synapse 2.0 appears like this as uh, legacy devices. So you will see your Basilisk V3 in this window. You can click on it and from here you can uh, set up pretty much everything. From the main window, main tab customize, you can uh, change the keybind. As I did, uh, I will show you exactly what I did uh, for my mouse. So when you hover on these links, you can actually change the, the button functionality. For example, uh, the button behind the scroll wheel was assigned by default to the hyperspeed function, meaning that the, the scroll moves freely or not, so I changed that to scroll click. So instead of uh, doing a scroll click on the wheel, I just click on the button behind it. So you can just click on uh, this option and from here you go to mouse function and select scroll click save okay uh, this is just one case for the side buttons that normally do next and back since I don't really need next and back I reassign to the delete key and control s which uh, does a save in most programs like Microsoft Office so uh, when I want to delete a file I just click on the on the side button and from uh, the one from uh, from in front control s basically you select keyboard key, keyboard function key recording control s so this is how you can change the the keys for the mouse Outside of that, I just left by default with uh, also in my case, if I tilt the, the wheel to the left, it does scroll click instead of uh, back, I guess. Sometimes I do that as well. I'm used to do that on uh, the Razer Naga Hex V2, which has uh, the same thing. Only some uh, mouses from Razer have this option to tilt the, the wheel left and right. Okay, let's move on. So this is the about the, the keybinds, how to, to change them. Uh, below the, the mouse interface you will see also scrolling mode, tactile and free spin. Basically when you start a computer or you restart it, if you don't set anything, the, the scroll wheel will go in tactile mode by default. If you want it to keep it free spin all the time, you can, you can select it here. And you will hear that the mouse does like, uh, like some kind of click noise. Uh, since I bought the mouse, I've used it in free spin and I uh, recommend this option, it's really convenient to use. And there is another option here called scroll acceleration. So basically when you do a scroll down or scroll up and you, you move the wheel fast, if this option is enabled, there is some kind of uh, engine that will uh, increase, it will accelerate the, the scroll wheel. If you turn it off, it won't do it, but uh, from what I've tested, in some cases it just 
does an extra scroll and for some reason I, I like to keep it uh, disabled in my case it doesn't help so you can keep it also disabled so this is from the customize tab let's go to performance tab so uh, this is, these are the default uh, settings for the DPI it's 1800 stage 3 and for pooling rate it's uh, 1000 and uh, I have this uh, these settings I've used them also pretty much on on my old Naga Hex V2 so for some reason this is uh, comfortable for me even uh, while working or just playing games it's uh, it's working great probably if you're playing uh, FPS games you can increase the DPI but these are the, the default settings uh, going to calibration this is also these are also default default uh, settings so I see that uh, the value is set to 2 uh, since I uh, use the mouse I haven't changed anything here or uh, done any calibration and I've noticed that the mouse works uh, perfectly fine by uh, with these default settings so if you don't know the default settings you can uh, check them here and uh, set them the same and lastly the lightning options uh, even if you don't like RGB or you just don't like lights at all on your uh, mouse and keyboards I have to say that uh, the lights on the Basilisk V3 are looking uh, quite good and in my case I left uh, I left the options turned on currently I have start light uh, I can pick uh, a color purple duration short brightness to 100 and uh, this actually creates some flash effects on the mouse there are some lights that go on and off really fast on all the areas of the mouse and it looks quite good there are a couple of other standard effects like uh, breathing meaning that the lights will turn on off slowly on uh, all the areas of, of the mouse scroll wheel below the mouse which will create a really nice effect on the mouse pad and on the Razer logo fire this will create like uh, like a uh, yellow orange effect on the mouse reactive it will the lights will turn on when you click on the mouse anywhere spectrum cycling this will just slowly change the lights purple blue green and so on starlight I just show static will display like uh, just the green color for example in this case it will stay on all the time and wave which is a lightning effect uh, which looks quite good on this mouse uh, what happens is that the lights will just uh, move uh, through, through all the mouse it will just change slowly uh, this is basically the RGB effect uh, all the colors will just show once at a time if you want to customize in detail you can click on advanced effects then on chroma studio and you will see the the mouse here and you can pretty much change all the areas there are tons of uh, of settings that you can uh, you can change here personally I didn't want to to, to bother I just uh, like to keep it uh, simple as I said with the with the starlight effect sometimes when I just want to to turn them off I just uh, click here and all the lights are turning off then I just turn them on like uh, like here 
so pretty much these are all the the settings uh, that you have on the Razer Basilisk V3 we also have onboard profiles so basically if you disconnect the the mouse and you just connect it to your laptop or to another PC the settings will be kept <coughs> and uh, yeah this is pretty much it quite uh, uh, a good mouse it's uh, it remembers it uh, it reminds me of the old uh, mouses made by Razer which were really high quality this is also a really really nice mouse so if you bought it you made the right uh, decision alright so uh, this was uh, for the video if you have any questions please uh, leave in the comments if you found the video useful please subscribe and thank you for watching